home stretch here. I figure we're two days out and we'll be all done. As you can see, I've got the, uh, the cabinetry uh, done over the countertop. Um, yeah, that's done. And uh, the solar is done. <clears throat> I'll show you that. It's underneath the bed. And there's all the components, including the batteries. It's, uh, it's been quite the uh, job. Um, we haven't had any problems yet, so uh, everything seems to be uh, working fine. All the bus bars and uh, things of that nature that uh, is required. And um, yeah, it, it, it's been... Uh, quite the exercise in, uh, you know, shoehorning this stuff in. So, uh, uh, kudos to my brother. Um, and yeah, and there, there was actually a good idea putting the, uh, all the manuals, uh, that that's a, a magazine holder from the original, uh, vehicle uh, that we had to get rid of off the door. So we thought, Oh, what the heck, eh? Let's use it. And as you can see, there are, uh, there's that panel there and uh boards i have to make a second panel so uh basically what you can do is lift the mattress up and um get underneath the yeah oh sorry you, you can get underneath the uh underneath the bed to that solar stuff standing up so um that may prove uh convenient so anyway what i'm working on today is uh what, what you always run into with these vans is there i put the door trim in over the door but now I've got this screwy little thing here if you try to build it out with wood it uh, it creates a sharp edge so you know you can always bump your head on it so anyway what I ended up doing was this is a piece of foam from I believe it's the uh, the uh, CR Lawrence window that we put in and I took a chunk of it and I molded it I shaped it and ended up with uh, this and it's got a little tab on the back that fits in a corresponding hole and it will go up in here it'll be glued in there now what I'm gonna do today or right now is I'm gonna rock guard this uh, the rock guard uh, it's like a bed liner uh, chip retardant uh, for your vehicle and uh, supposedly that's supposed to work and it's it's going to be a black which will correspond with this if that isn't satisfactory depending on how the uh, the spray uh, goes because it's quite an open cell type of foam uh, but it should go in there and uh, anyway uh, uh, it can be painted so uh, we'll see how it turns out but at any rate that's what's going on today and uh, basically all I got is a few little things doing it again uh, a few little things left over and uh, uh, trim pieces uh, like yeah there's got to be a trim put along here and along the top of the back door and um, yeah uh, just odds and ends and uh, hopefully I'll have her done uh, if not today uh, tomorrow <clears throat> and then I got a little cabinetry job to do for my uh, my sister-in-law so uh, I'm gonna put shelves in her uh, pantry, so or drawers in her pantry. So anyway, that's what I'm up to, and uh, I'll let you know how that other uh, deal turned out with the foam, because that may be a solution for people. Because uh, you know how, how the heck do you approach this? And uh, you know uh, it's very very light, so and uh, it's foam, so uh, hopefully it'll be a solution for these hard to reach areas uh, that you don't know what to do with. So. Anyway, I will keep you informed as to how it turns out and whether or not it was feasible. So, because I don't see a work around this, it's uh, man, the compound cuts and things. And I'll tell you what, you'd have to be a, a combination between uh, Norm Abram and I don't know who uh, to tr to do this because, uh, like I said, you're always going to end up with a sharp edge. So, anyway, I will be back to let you know how it turned out. Okay, uh, this is the stuff that I'm going to use. It's a uh, premium rubberized uh, rocker guard black Dominion Sure Seal. Canadian Tire sells it, probably other locations also. But anyway, okay, let's see what happens here.
yeah, not the prettiest, but um, use my chopsticks. And it may take a couple coats because it actually, um, it's like it bubbles. It, uh, I don't know what the heck it's doing, but, uh, oh, oh gosh. And the beauty of it is, yeah, I don't know why I'm being so delicate because uh, this stuff is uh, pretty robust. So it's not like you're getting a, a perfect finish on it. Eh? So yeah, because it comes out uh, pebbled or yeah, the finish. But anyway, I may have to give this, like I said, a few shots. And uh, actually, what I'm going to use this for also is uh, we've got a drawer in the bottom of, um, yeah, we've got a drawer in the bottom of uh, the couch that um, I'm going to take this stuff and spray inside because it's going to be a boot uh, drawer. And uh, because the stuff is rubberized, it should stop any moisture, dirt, whatever, from uh, getting into the wood and uh, potentially creating a problem for us. So. But anyway, uh, I will continue with this and uh, show you what the finished product looks like, if it's uh, acceptable or not. Uh, I took some foam and uh, shaped it. Then what I did was I rock guarded it. And when I did that, uh, it really didn't fill all the holes. So what I did last night was I uh, took uh, just a uh, dap or uh, white caulking and... Uh, I filled it all the little uh, uh, holes. It's, it's almost like a Thomas's English muffin. And anyway, and then I rock guarded it this morning again. And this is what I ended up with. So anyway, when you put it in, I think it pretty much uh, hides that spot. So now what I'll do is I'll just glue it in place and... Uh, I guess that'll be uh, the end of this project. So, uh, yeah, it turned out. Uh, I think that uh, under the circumstances of, uh, you know, trying to uh, get something that's... Uh, oh, I keep doing that. A anyway, uh, trying to get uh, something to uh, conform to that space is uh, almost impossible to do uh, uh, from a woodworking sense, unless you want to, you know, extend this out, in which case now, you know, you're going to hit your head on it or whatever and uh and we're not that tall but we still have to uh, consider these things so anyway that that's what's uh going on now and uh like i say uh yeah i think it turned out okay so anyway uh i'll give a, a final tour of the van at some point here we're very close uh i'm just doing the final cabinetry uh, i put the end on the counter uh uh under cabinet lighting is going to go in tomorrow or today and uh yeah, and uh, other than that, uh, it's just a matter of uh, looking at the solar and all that, bringing it outside where the sun can shine on it. And uh, uh, it hasn't. Uh, th this vehicle hasn't been out of the garage in two and a half months. So anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be hitting the road here in the next little uh, while, couple days. And uh, uh, the toilet is uh, all done. The composting toilet had a lot of issues with that. Uh, finally, we found what we needed, which were uh, three inch fans. And uh, uh, we, we did a lot of running around and trying to figure it out and uh, slowing down 120 millimeter fans. And, uh, but anyway, we, we, we got what we needed. So uh, uh, it, it's a case now where um, uh, that's working. So now I can put the, uh, that whole area back together with the cabinetry and everything and uh, do the finished painting. Uh, and uh, then that'll be done today. It's uh, Jan for Rob and Jan Can Van. We're almost done the van. We're so, so close. The last thing we have to do is cut this mattress so it will fit in the van. It's an IKEA 7 inch Morgadol, is what it is, and it's just a little bit too long. We're going to cut about six and a half inches off the end, and we've got an electric carving knife for that. Oh, my husband's going to throw a tape measure. So, the lucky thing is, it comes right to where this gap is. There's three different layers of foam. So it's going to come right between here. So it should be pretty easy to do with this. Well, we hope pretty easy to do with this electric carving knife. So wishes luck and uh, hopefully this gives somebody a helpful tip.
Are we recording right now? Yep. We're on tape, just be careful what we say. Yep. <laughs> okay, do I have to look pretend I'm helping you? No. Nope. Okay. Never done this before. <laughs> Is it cut like turkey? Looks like it's cutting really well. I like the neon green layer at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yes, actually, uh, yeah, it's cutting really uh, well. Efficient. Yeah. It's also only a seven inch mattress, so it's not super thick. <laughs> all right and there we have it now we have nice little body pillows we can make out of that yeah. look at that well there's your side of the bed yeah right <laughs> all right now we just got to put well. her all together okay well this has been a long day coming. Anyway, it is currently October the 25th. I rolled into this garage on August the 5th. And uh, needless to say, I'm gonna miss this, uh, this garage, man, it's great. So anyway, uh, the build is done. Uh, a few little you know, paint touch-ups and you know, normal stuff that you get. And I got some uh, uh, door stays to put on the cabinetry, but uh, other than that, uh, uh, yeah, the, the van is uh, done. Uh, everything works, and uh, we're just going to head on the road here this morning. Um, I can kind of uh, show you what's going on here in the van. Hopefully this turns out. As you can see, everything's in. We're just... Uh, Trying to get organized and, uh, you know, do what we can to uh, pack all of our stuff in, which is, well, more mine than my wife's. Anyway, time to hit the road. <laughs> Robin Jan Kanban.